Well, pretty much as long as I've been the Member of Parliament, which is since 1992. It's had uh, good seasons and, and, and less good seasons, but I think it's really caught on now and has for the last five or six years or so. And uh, when it comes up this year, this before this Christmas, I'm sure the, the streets will be absolutely chock-a-block of people, not just from the town, but from outside the town, from Northamptonshire as well as from Leicestershire, and it will be a real fillip uh, for the uh, retailers and for the town itself. We're really excited for the Market Harbour Christmas Fair. It's a great opportunity for us to showcase the town and for all the local businesses to get involved. I think it's fantastic that everybody in town has made such a massive effort this year um, after all the plans were to, to cancel it. But uh, yeah, really looking forward for the community to be coming down to the Otil um, to enjoy a few festive drinks on their way to and from the venue. Uh, yeah, we're super excited. I'm Kelly and this is Holly. We work at Fruitas. Um, and we're opening for the first time in six years for the Christmas fair. Quite excited. Um, she is because she's not going to be here, it's going to be me. Um, but we will be open with all the glory of the uh, Christmas wreaths and everything outside. I think mainly I'm just opening to make it aware and, and just to kind of let everybody know that we are still here because at the end of the day we are a small local independent shop and if people don't use us they will lose us within time. As a Harbour resident for around 10, maybe 12 years, I really appreciate the importance of this event, the um, Christmas Fair as it's known now. Uh, it's a great way to get the community together uh, and it's great for businesses as well. Yeah, the Christmas Fair is a great event for the town. You know, it brings the town alive. It's the aromas that you get when the front door of the hotel opens, the mince pies, the chestnuts, the mulled wine flowing and it's great to see the children just enjoying themselves with the buzz that surrounds the town with the hope that Christmas is just a few weeks down the road and it encourages people from far away just to come up, you know we have people come and stay, stay with us that night uh, to enjoy it uh, and take it all in and then uh, have a good old hearty breakfast the next day and see the town and, and go shopping again so no it's great that Sophie and the team's got together and uh, Got enough and running again. I can remember the first time that um, late night shopping came to Market Harbour. I had been trading in the town for about three years, and suddenly the excitement of seeing all the Christmas trees going up in the town centre and the atmosphere that was generated by the majority of shops all cooperating. Well, I thought it was important enough. 27 years ago when I left uh, Manchester and came back home on a Friday night and drove through Ashby de la Zouche and saw this beautiful town with a wide street like ours, a building in the middle and it was absolutely rows and rows and rows of small Christmas trees and the whole impression and atmosphere of the place just made me feel, why are we not doing that in Market Harbour itself? The one thing about Market Harbour is it's a place where people help each other uh, and help themselves. I don't mean that in a derogatory sense, I mean that in a positive community sense. And it takes individual volunteers, people like Ian Jewell for example, to drive these things forward. But not just to drive, but also to encourage. And it's a real collective effort. And it doesn't matter whether you're in a big shop, small shop, or anything in between. Uh, anyone who has uh, got something to offer to the town uh, is included and uh, it has proved to be a great success and it's a very happy occasion you see you know, people from all ages the eldest to the youngest having great fun